Hey, good Wednesday morning. Happy Upper what? Michigan Today episode. <laughs> I was like, wait, where am I going with that? Happy May Day is actually where I was going with that. Oh. It's the first day of May. It's it really, is the first day of May. really feeling like spring. It's also the day after MK's birthday. I'm yep. MK Di Virgilio co hosting with me today. We're live at Gens's Homestead Golf Course in Chocolate Township. Thanks a lot for joining me <laughs> post birthday festival. Yeah, how'd, how'd that go? It was good. Yeah, you know, just I'm old now, so. <laughs> Any birthday after 21, and between 21 and 50, I feel like it's all kind of lumped it's, in. Yeah, it kind, of, it kind of feels that way. I don't even know how old I am. I sometimes forget. Are you like 26? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I have to do the math and like back it up and yeah. subtract. Like yeah, it was good though. Year. That's good. It was good. We're here. Do you ever do any golfing? Um, not well. Mm-hmm. Not, not, not well. Not well. I try. I like it. It's fun. But. I know. I just started golfing, um, I think, like, three summers ago. And here at Gens's was actually my very first time golfing in my adult life. So really? it's kind of, yeah, fun to be back here for the first time this season. And it's a bit rainy morning. That's but and that's okay. How we'll, come you didn't get Rick Rhodes on the show today, that golf extraordinaire? Oh, I asked him. I oh, asked him. He said a hard no. No, he didn't say hard no. He said maybe. <laughs> So, but here but I am. Here you are. Rick Rhodes. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we're getting into the show. We're here with the owners of this golf course, Randy and Kathy Gant. So thanks a lot for having us out this morning. And uh, happy golf season. It sure is. And it started with a bang. We've been open for three weeks, four weeks now. Four weeks. And it's been busy. Uh, unlike this morning, I don't know that I've seen any golfers out there probably waiting out the rain how long have you been open here in general we, we go ahead well we opened the course fully in 1998 mm -hmm. so we've been here on for a while and we've had our up and downs but mm -hmm. it's been a great few seasons what have been some of the highlights of of these seasons so the, some of the ups in that time the changes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we started out in a little shack over there in the parking lot. You could get a bucket of balls and do three holes for $5. And then when we got busier, we built the pole barn, cart storage, mm -hmm. and I worked out of that third half, or I mean the third part of the building. And then we built this pro shop, got the liquor license. I mean, we're just growing. Mm -hmm. So really just a lot of growth in that time. What else makes this golf course unique or special to the people who come? Well, I think it's because we're uh, family owned here. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my wife, take, Kathy, take care of the most, a lot of stuff, but I have a great grounds crew. Guys, my son is our superintendent, Charlie, and uh, he does a phenomenal job on the course. The course is in great shape right now. What does it take to make the course in, in great shape? What went into that process, you know, coming out of winter, going into the spring? Well, last fall we end up, we spray everything with fungicides, all the fairways, all the tees and greens. And uh, this is, last year was the first year that we did the actual whole course and it came out great. Did this kind of milder winter lead into an earlier season start for you? Were you able to work on that on those grounds a little bit earlier because we didn't really have a whole lot of snow yeah we uh we started this is probably the earliest full start that we've had ever i mean we've opened for a little bit once in a while but then it's like this is full on right now so we're doing great and on a typical summer sunny day what what does it look like here on the course what's what are you typically seeing yesterday morning was senior men's league my parking lot was full there was probably 78 golfers here mm -hmm. so yeah when weather mother nature makes a big difference <laughs> on what happens day to day <laughs> huge difference are there uh with men's league for example are there um particular days that happen to be busier than other days you know for the average joe regular schmo people like me coming to golf people used to ask when's a good time to come out because I'm not a good golfer, and I can't answer that anymore. <laughs> it's busy all the time. So, well, maybe the answer is when it's raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it's raining, you can come out. All right, Tia, you and I. Every time it rains, we're hitting every the links. Every time it rains, that's gonna we're be getting our out new there. Thing. I know. Yep. I mean, 
I don't know that I've ever golfed in the rain before. I've, I mean, it's not actively. I've been golfed right in now, like though, so. since college, so we're gonna. So like 25 years ago. I'm just kidding. You're not I that was old. Like, I, I only made that three. reference because you just had a birthday. Okay, uh. you're not that old. <laughs> well, uh, you know, there's so much to talk about. You have a lot to offer here. You like to say you're a golf course first, Bird. but we have an amazing bar. Make a great Bloody Mary. Um, I love a Bloody Mary. The there's times like yesterday the. This place was packed. Mm -hmm. You're sitting out on the deck. I think people find that it's comfortable. We're not a country club, mm -hmm. but um, it's a great place to play golf. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk more about that. We have to take a break, but when we come back, we're really going to lay out everything that Gens's Homestead Golf Course has to offer before uh, we hit the links up, okay? <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous, Robert. <laughs>